How are you, my friends? This is lecture number six in the pre-calculus course, laws of logarithms. And uh, there are three laws actually. And then we see the change of base formula in this lecture. Just to remind you, please, if you want to see other lectures in the pre-calculus course, you can visit this playlist. Now here we have, as I mentioned, we have three laws of logarithms here, basic in, inside this lecture, and we have the change of base formula. Directly, we see the laws all together in one slide. So there are conditions we have to take care of. U is positive, V is positive, A is positive, A cannot be one. Then if we have log base A of U, V, remember this is a multiplication, it will be log base A of U plus log base A of V. We call this product law. Product because in the argument we have product. So look here, 7x. Inside the argument, we have a product. So it becomes log base 2 of 7 plus log base 2 of x. Here we have log base A U over V. See, this is a quotient. Quotient means division in the argument. So it, it changes to subtraction of two logs, the same base A. This is an example. And the last one is the power law. We have log base A of U to the power N. N comes down here times log base A of U. So this is a simple example here. Log base three of X power seven, it becomes seven times log base three. If we have also this right side, we can go back and put the seven here on the power of the x. You can do that. So you can use these properties forward and backward. Now let's start with simple, easy example, true or false. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five questions. Log base five, you can read them and check. Maybe I will not take too much time on this. Maybe the important one here, number two. So this one is easy. Number two, we have log base four of A plus B. Can we have log base four of A plus log base four of B? Well, that's wrong because there is no property in the argument to have addition. If you have a multiplication, yes. If you have a division, yes. So this one is important, that's, that's false. This one also is false here, we can see that. Log base six, 17 over 33. We cannot write log base six of 17 divided by log base, base 6 of 33, because in the argument here we have division, so it will be subtraction there. So we can see true, false, true, false, true. You can check these with the three laws. Now let's start with a nice example. Capital M is equal all this. Capital D is equal all this. Let's find N times D. So simplify each one, use the laws, so we can start here, see log base three of 100 minus this, minus this. So I can take the first two and from the minus, I can make it, see the quotient here, I make it uh, log base 300 over 18, see? The first two terms here, the first two. Then there's another minus here, log base three of 50. Then I can make the quotient rule or law, you can say it's the same. Uh, divided. So this is 100 over 18 divided by 50. So it becomes log base 3, 100 over 18 times 50. <clears throat> Which is, if you I put here all the simplification for the numbers, multiply 18 times 50, 900 canceled by 100, 1 over 9, 1 over 3 squared, 3 to the power minus 2. Now look at n here. All this expression becomes log base 3, 3 to the power minus 2. See, that's the property here, the simple property. So the answer here, minus 2, is for the n. Now, for the d is the same. We have log of log 10 to the power 10,000. See, we have inside the bracket log base 10 here of 10 to the power x is x. So this is all 10,000. 10,000, 10 to the power 4 which is also four. So minus two times four is minus eight. 
Now, the laws of logarithms you can apply to any base. See here, I said base A in the slide number three in this lecture. All right. So, this is the, the basic three laws I mentioned, explained before. Now, you can apply them to any base. If you apply them to base 10, that's a special base, we call it common logarithm. So we, we don't try the base here, 10. So it will be log of u v, log of u plus log of v. Same idea, you can apply the same rules. If we have u, if we use base e, we write ln. We don't write log base e. So ln of u v is equal ln of u plus ln of v. ln of u over v, we have a minus. In the power, it looks like this. So my advice, understand, remember, memorize, practice on the first three properties, the general ones. And these are the same properties, but this is applied to base 10, this is applied to base E. So just to mention here, we have only three properties on this slide now, what I'm explaining. We cannot say we have nine, only three properties and then this is for base 10, this is for base E, you can apply it to base 5, base 4, base half, base, base 7, and base 8, or any other base you like. It should be positive, not equal to 1. Now let's expand this logarithmic expression. We have log base 4 of 5x cubed divided by square root of i. We need to expand it. So I use the laws of logarithms. I can take the first numerator over denominator, make it minus, that's a quotient. And then here we have five times x cubed. So it will be five and then plus log x cubed. I cannot bring the three down. Maybe some of you will think, let's bring the three down. You cannot do that because we have the three on the power of the x. There's a times here. So you have to see that multiplication, five times x cubed. So log base four of five, log base four of x cubed minus this one. Now we can play with the power. So the power three comes down here, power half. That's the expansion. Now what's more important is the opposite of this question. Where I give you this expansion already in the expansion form, I say, right, right, give me the answer as a single logarithm like this important example. Now we can pause the video here, you can take a minute please, to, to try to combine all these and make it one single logarithm by using the laws and the properties. Now the problem here is the one, you see the one is not related to 7x, it's not in the argument because we don't have a bracket here and you cannot put also bracket because you are changing the question. So plus one here is another term. So that's the important part here to know, plus one. See the one here I know because the base here is two. So I can change the one into log base two of two. See this one here, I just write it like that. Log base two of two. And then I go backwards in the laws. So two, I will take it up here. Square root of six all squared becomes six. And then I can take the first two terms here. I can use the division here. Log base two of six minus log base two of 15 X. Let's continue. So this becomes here log base two of six over 15 X. And this is all pluses here, you see? So the pluses, we can go backward. It will be changed to log multiplication in the argument. So when you multiply 6 over 15x times 7x times 2, uh, what do we get here? Cancel by 3, cancel by 3. There is a 2, 2, and 7. So log base 2, cancel the x, 28 over 5 is the final answer. Now, change of base formula. Very important. You can see that from the colors. Log base a of x. Sometimes, in a question, you need to change the base. You can do that. You can change from any base to any base. The condition is 
the base should be not equal to one and positive. So we have A is the old base here. I'm explaining in details. A is the old base. I need the new base is the B. So this formula becomes log base B of X, the same argument divided by all divided. There's no minus here. <clears throat> log base B of A. So the first argument becomes the first argument and the base here and the old base becomes the new argument. You can use this for common logarithm. You can use it for natural logarithm. You can use it for any base you like. Now let's apply change of base formula to this question, log base five of 14. Let's do it in three different ways. Change it to base six, change it to base 10, change it to base E. And you can change it to any base you like. So log base five, if we need six here, we say log base six of 14 divided by log base six of five. Remember division here. You can go backwards. See, this is important here. You can use change of base backwards. So I can give you this in the exam or anywhere. You can see it in the book. You can go back and write log base five here. You see the five there. But remember, you have to have the same base here of 14. So if you change it to base 10, only we use base 10 log. We don't write any base. So this is log 14 divided by log of five for base e becomes ln of 14 divided by ln of five be careful in the change of base that's a nice question here we have capital a is equal to this expression this value here capital b is equal to this find a times b so let's take it one by one so we have noticed here that five and four this is not the same base here so start with A, change all bases to E. You can use base 10 if you like. You can cho choose base four or you can choose base five. I, I have chosen here base E. So this is ln of 16 divided by ln of five. And this is uh, ln of 125 divided by ln of four. 16 becomes four squared. 125 is five cubed. I can use this property here ln of u to the power n is equal n ln of u. It's also the power, uh, the, the, the law. Now two comes down here, three comes down. Then I can cancel ln of five as one number. All this is a number. ln of four, ln of four is one number. So here two times three, this is six. That's the a. Now let's simplify the b. In the b, I think we have to use something the property here, a to the power log base a of x is equal to x. So we can do that on the next slide. So fifth root of seven becomes seven to the power one over five. Now multiply here the powers, minus 10, one over five becomes minus two. Take it up here, use the power law, take it up and now we have base here seven and the base here is seven so the answer four to the power minus two which is one over 16 that's the b so when you multiply a and b six see the a is six already there over 16 so divide by two three over eight now here are some questions for you to practice as all the exams questions as practice evaluate this expression nice to try and then question number two, expand, as we did in one of the examples, expand it using the laws and the properties. This is the opposite. I have given you an expression, but there are two tricks here in the expression. One trick is the bases are not the same. So you have to notice you have to change the base. And there is a one here. You know what to do with the one. Check one of the examples. Question number four, the value of E and the value of H. Do each one separate. Find E minus H. And then there is a good question here. We have expression 3 ln of X plus 2 minus ln of X minus ln of 10. Change it to one single ln. So it will look like this. 
x plus 2 all to the power a divided by bx. Find a, find b, multiply them. The answer should be a, b. Question number six, important. I will tell you why important. Because the given, the given has base 2, each one here. And in the required, we need to find this value in terms of x and y. See, the base here is square root of 2. It can be 5. It can be square root of 3. It can be square root of 5. It can be base half or base 7 or base 1 over 3. So try to see here. We have to change the base. So I advise you change the base from the required to be this base. So this is B here. The new base is 2. The old base square root of 2. So that you can use the given in the question to get the answer. Same idea here, we have small m is equal to this value, small n is equal to that value. There's a little trick here in the n. Find the value of m times n. Question number eight, I said not easy, you can try it and see if it is easy or not. But the same idea here, the given is this log 0 0.4 is equal to k. Find log base 2 of 20 in terms of k. So the answer should have some kind of k's. Now these are the answers. See the last one here, the answer k plus 3 over k plus 1. That's question number 8 here. Find log base 2 of 20 in terms of k. The answer should be k plus 3 over k plus 1. Now these are the answers for the 8 questions in this lecture number 6. So please, if you want to see the complete solutions of these uh, questions, you can see the video on laws of logarithms, pre-calculus, all the exams, questions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Just to remind you that this is pre-calculus course, lecture number six. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much for watching.